with this pandemic going on, it doesn't have to mean everything has to be dull. There's a lot of stupidity happening, and a lot of it's really funny. So here's a few stories. There's been a lot of humor happening with this pandemic. I know the pandemic itself isn't funny, but people's reactions are. And as I've said before, it's only, these places are only as clean as the people cleaning them. You know, for instance, at one major chain uh, of truck stops, they will not let you get your coffee. But <laughs> that <laughs> filthy employee that hasn't taken a bath in a week He's the guy for you. He's the one sanitary enough to get your coffee. That happened today. So, <laughs> here's a few stories that I've collected for from what's going on. So, I hope you like them. This one, I'm calling the outhouse. Because of you know, the food stuff that I deal with, and a lot of people don't, it's hard getting in and out of buildings right now because a lot of people don't want you in there. Dirty little secret, they didn't want you in there before, but they couldn't keep you out. Now, a lot of them are keeping you out. They're like, no, no, we no longer have any public restrooms for you drivers, but we've provided you a safe, clean alternative. And it's that outhouse over there, you know, the one that's cleaned by a contractor, every three to five days depending if the guy shows up so we care all about safety and sanitary conditions so there's the outhouse that has been happening so usually it's a lot more sanitary to take a crap on the pavement but since I'm not a complete animal I figure out an alternative it's just that's one thing that's been happening because of the coronavirus and the fear of infections, they've closed the buildings off. So, a lot of places won't let you use the bathroom anymore, but they've provided you a safe, clean alternative. This one was kind of funny. I uh, stopped outside of Indiana before you get into the metro on Highway 2 and you're up there, oh, just right around Michigan City, just right before you go into the border there. There's a little truck stop there on Highway 2. I was running that because I didn't want to pay the toll because, well, that comes out of my pocket. But, so I stop in a truck stop. It's a, I think it was a marathon or a mobile, one of those. And of course, I could get my own coffee there, and I decide I'm going to get a cup of coffee, a bag of nuts, a couple bags of nuts, and some cheese, because the rollers are all down, and it's just, and this was a privately owned uh, truck stop that had a head shop in it, and a liquor store, and lottery, and bulletproof glass. So they were using the bulletproof glass as a shield. Well, the gal, I get all my stuff there and I have to literally start shoving it through the coin slot. So I had to shove a bag of nuts through the coin slot. I had to shove a bunch of cheese through the coin slot so she could scan it and then shove it all back down. I looked at her and I said, I'm not shoving the coffee through there. And she just kind of figured that out on her own. Now, mind you, she could have opened the bulletproof glass about this far. No, no, that, that was, that was, that was too much. So that's what happened there. I have to sit there and start shoving things through coin slots because, well, they're not opening up the bulletproof glass for anyone. Now, the irony of it was the register next to her, there was a gap about that wide but for some reason, it all went through the coin slot. So, I'm in Sioux Falls. 
I had to get a sensor fixed on the truck just there at the shop real quick and so I said can I borrow the shop truck have you eaten all day let me just run up to Burger King grab a couple of double cheeseburgers because the drive throughs are open and it helps if you have a car because they have gotten moderately ignorant about it so I get up to the drive through and I order and all that and I would go to hand her a 20 so she sticks a clear bucket out the window. So what's this? She says, put your money in it. So I drop my money in the bucket. She takes the bucket inside and grabs my money. So she goes through, gives me my change, dumps all my change in the bucket, hands me the bucket, shoves it back out the window. I grab the bucket, grab all my change, give her back the bucket. So here a second later and I mind you she hasn't done anything with the bucket she sits there takes my food drops my food in the bucket gives me the bucket I grab my food give her back the bucket and the thought occurred to me and I looked at her and I said lady she's like yeah I said this is stupid I said you and I were the only ones that had handled that 20. You and I are the only ones that had handled the change. You and I are the only ones that handled the food. She goes, yeah. I said, do you know everybody in town's handled that bucket? And she gives me just this tired look and says, it's just what they want us to do. Just nobody's really thinking it out. So I guess it takes a dumb truck driver sometimes. So, I swing into the loves at Floyd, Iowa, and get some coffee, maybe a snack. I got to get fuel in the shower, and this has uh, happened the other day, and so I go in there, I get my shower, come back out, go to the counter where they have this makeshift, uh, oh, what's that word? Those people, concert, whatever that person is, that concierge, that's the word, who does all the coffee and the roller grills and all that, you know, they're acting like it's a big thing and it's more of a pain, but I digress. And right next to me, the guy, there's a maintenance guy who's cleaning out the cooler. Now, mind you, everything's sanitary, they're trying to keep everything clean. The only two people in the whole place that aren't wearing masks is me and him. So we, I asked to get my coffee, you know, and all that. As I'm getting my coffee, I look down, he's cleaning the coils. And before I know it, he grabs a can of keyboard cleaner and just starts hosing that coil. And he literally smoked the entire tire there is dirt in the air everywhere it is raining filth and he's just kind of looking at me and i'm thinking looking around thinking wow i am the only one besides me and this asbestos freak are the only ones with no mask and i just kind of looked at him and said you know a shot back would probably do you all right he goes yeah i'd imagine so <laughs> and he just goes right back at it so like i said the place is only as sanitary as the people working because he put a dust cloud in that storm or in that store just to beat all hell. And so I don't, I don't know what he was thinking. Well, he probably wasn't. So, you know, aside from the unwashed guy who's been there, who doesn't look like he showered in five days and used cologne in three, we got this genius. So... That's something else, but I thought it was kind of funny. So we're in Albert Lee, Minnesota. I decide I'm going to go to the McDonald's because, well, it's either that or Taco Bell because the restaurant's not even open right now. So, now, the McDonald's is open, per se. The drive is open. They got big metal grate out front with squares about this wide. I can see people walking back there. 
They said, we can't take your order up front. There's a big sign. But you can download an app, order your food, and pick it up. So mind you, they want me to download an app to get a cheeseburger. Which I'm not going to do. So, I download an app. But once I order the food... Now, mind you, the counter is about four feet away from me with holes in the... They can hand me my food through it. And there's people back there. But I have to walk outside in the snow to the drive through window to pay for it. And I have to download an app when I could just say, Lady, cheeseburger. I'm not downloading an app to order a cheeseburger. Now, here's the idiot part of it. The Taco Bell was open, and I think they share a kitchen. So, I mean... I just totally, total idiocy, and nobody knows what's going on. Now this one kind of amused me. I was in Gary, Indiana. And I said, I'm gonna go inside, see what's for breakfast. I need something quick, I'm gonna head out. Taco Bell does breakfast or I can order something takeout from the iron skillet next door. Well, the iron skillet was open, but I don't feel like paying 15 to $20 for something takeout that I can eat in my truck when I can just get something light from the Taco Bell for breakfast. They got eggs, so is the iron skillet. Now, I go in there, there's no breakfast menu. And I said, you guys not do breakfast anymore? She says, no, no, breakfast has stopped because of the coronavirus. I look down, there's a plaque that said, this franchise is owned and operated by the TA Corp. And I got to thinking, they're the same people that own and operate the store 30 feet away that's serving breakfast. So I don't know if there was some cross communications or if they were going to get rid of breakfast, but I'll guarantee you, the guy that made the decision to close breakfast at Taco Bell is probably the same idiot that's keeping the iron skillet open. It's just I think they're getting they're trying to not to run two menus is what they're doing. They want to get rid of the breakfast menu out of there. That's kind of what I'm seeing, but more instances of idiocy and people not knowing what's going on so it just kind of made me laugh here's the thing we're all in this together and as we navigate through this difficult time a lot of these stories are funny some of them are funnier than others and some of them I guess maybe you just had to be there but as you go through this difficult time try to find some humor in everything because being just pissy and mad ain't gonna get you anywhere because there's nothing any of us can do about it it's just not a thing you know it's getting kind of tough out here nobody has any real set rules and even the set rules they have nobody knows how to follow them it's what are you gonna do it's just basically they listed out a bunch of rules and it's Sophie's choice so I don't think anybody really knows what's going on because they laid out the rules, made them very broad. There's not a whole lot you really can't do. But nobody, everybody's kind of interpreting them the way they see fit. So just be safe, do what you got to do, and try to find some humor in all of this. And hopefully we'll get out of this here shortly and get back to doing normal things. Thanks for watching.